the line. And three, two, one, go. And with that, we start the autonomous period. Those robots start on the tarmac. They're loading their cargo into the upper hub. We're seeing a lot of action from the Red Alliance. There goes High Tide, getting some more cargo from the player station, landing it in the upper hub. Now we need to remind you that because sometimes it might take a little longer for that cargo to make it through the hubs, the final score at the end of Autonomous might not be fully set. But now we're in tele -op period. Those robots are moving around. Looks like 50-25. Robots still uh, yet to get out of the tarmac, while 44-14, High Tide is moving around the, the field. We have some blue de uh, oh, defense coming in on the Blue Alliance. From 26-59, the Robo Warriors trying to defend against High Tide. Meanwhile, the Hawaiian kids, 359, they're picking up cargo off the field. They're, they've got that turreted shooter. It's rotating around. They're looking, they score two up into the upper hub. They do land. While the Phantoms over on the Blue Alliance looking to try and collect some cargo from the player station. Robo Warriors moving around, trying to figure out what to who did, I, they found a, a robot to defend against. All the while, 44-14 already on the high run. And the Hawaiian kids looking to get on that middle run. Looks like we, all Blue Alliance robots are moving. Robo Warriors looking to score one last cargo before time expires. We've got 22 seconds left on the clock. And the Hawaiian kids have made it from the middle rung to the high rung. 10 seconds left in the match. That's the first match of the Port Wainimi or Wainimi Port Regional. And the Red Alliance takes the first match with a score of 82 to 6. The Red Alliance made all of their cargo receiving the cargo bonus as well as